Hello everybody, welcome to Tech Tips by Rajshi. Today we are going to configure Raspberry Pi which has a Dite Pi as operating system in it over a wireless connection. Uh, in the past video I have shown you how to create a bootable micro USB of Dite Pi which was very simple and clean, a uh, 5 minutes video, if you haven't watched it you can go there and watch that. Now we are going to configure it over Wi-Fi network. Let's get started. Now the connections are complete. One is the power supply with a micro USB slot for this Raspberry Pi 3B Plus and another is a RJ45 connection. Now we need to connect the other end of the RJ45 to the router. I have a Geo router here. I am connecting to it. You can use any other Wi-Fi router based on your location and your availability. I am using one of the slots on the thing. Uh, next, power it up. Make sure that there is uh, no any short circuit or something because uh, it is an open board, right? Uh, there is a lot of probability of uh, getting short circuited. Yeah, now it is powering up. You can see that RJ45 has a status signal here. Orange color light is continuously blinking. Whenever the data transfers, then you can see the green color one blinking. Now it is powered up. Uh, make sure that uh, you are not placing it in a wrong place where there could be a short circuit. Now we need a laptop with a putty or Linux terminal. Anything is fine. So how do you figure out the IP address of uh, Raspberry Pi which it is connected to? Okay, all you need is a, a, a Wi-Fi configuration uh, page. You need to go to there and uh, you can figure out or else uh, there are some android apps which can uh, tell uh, what are the devices connected in your local network uh, if you are uh, running an android uh, phone uh, then you can use this app i'll show you in a while give me a sec if you are using an uh, iphone you can uh, get this app present in android store called network analyzer in which you can see the IP address of uh, this for this specific device or any specific device which you wish to and if you are using an Android phone then you can get this app uh, okay the same network analyzer app is present for Android too you have iPhone app or else Android app all you need to press is uh, a get and install on both the devices respectively okay now I'm launching the Wi-Fi LAN scan Okay, there is an option called LAN scan in this app Once after pressing that uh, We can get IP address of my dike pad It has assigned uh, an IP address 29.20 at the end Okay, all I need is this IP address uh, whenever I am connecting And uh, when it comes to iPhone, uh, it remains same It should work fine And uh, here in iPhone uh, we need to press uh, LAN button here, whatever is present on uh, the bottom, and there you can go to scan. Okay, it is asking for permission. You need to give permission on network. Here also it is showing the same IP address. That means we can confirm that we can connect to it now. Now uh, on the DietPy site there is a default password and uh, default username whenever we install fresh install uh, DietPy. All that is uh, uh, there are two users DietPy and root and password remains same for both DietPy is a password default password. You need to change it once you are configuring the DietPy. Okay. Uh, let's get back to the computer and uh, do the rest of the work. Okay. Uh, in order to connect to DietPy over a network, we need SSH installed. Generally, most of the Linux operating systems comes with that. But whenever we go with the Windows operating system, we need putty kind of a third-party software where we can uh, connect to a terminal shell over uh, that software. Okay. Now I'm going to show you how to connect to it. Uh, it is as simple as a one line command uh, ssh space what is the username of your uh, DietPy? the default username of DietPy is diet pi at the rate of ip address at which it is located 
actually mine is located at this IP address okay actually it is throwing an error because uh, in the past I have used the same IP address for some other device so it cannot use uh, that IP address it is saying so in order to remove it is uh, giving an command here I can highlight and show it to you okay this command needs to be run once okay that's it original from the original host uh, it has been removed now use the same ssh type by at the rate of ip address okay it is asking for whether should i allow it to connect to your pc or not yes then connect it now enter the default password default password is type by it will not show the password as the policy of Linux uh, will not allow it to show the password. Okay, now the booted system is available in front of us. You can see DitePy at the rate of DitePy. This is the host name. This is the username. Now I have logged into the user account of DitePy. There is another account, root account. You can connect to it also using the same method. Okay. Mm. Yeah, now in DitePy, you can check for the updates. Like uh, initially you need to connect it to Wi-Fi network. Currently it is on a LAN network uh, with IP address. This is an IP address. Clear screen. Uh, in order to connect to Wi-Fi, you need DitePy config. sudo. Okay, uh, can run directly I think so. Uh, hyphen config. It is uh, somewhat uh, similar to raspy config. Okay, it is asking for root privileges. So run with root sudo. Okay, uh, it hasn't asked any password. I don't know why. But however, uh, here we have network options. Okay, it is having a. a Ethernet connection as well as Wi-Fi connection uh, already enabled. Uh, once you get into the Ethernet options, uh, you can change various settings of it, like uh, from uh, dynamic uh, IP address allocation to some other uh, format, like uh, a static IP address uh, allocation, like that. Using tab, you can navigate here. No mouse or uh, any touch input device will not work in this uh, terminal so only keyboard is a way you can uh, go forward okay now when we go into the wi-fi network connections it will have a scan and configure ssid okay scan and configure i have connected mine here if i have a different ip address uh, sorry different ssid and different password you need to select another portion of it and you can manually enter or else you can scan and connect to it okay next when it comes to third one it is similar like uh, how many wi-fi addresses you have uh, you can enter all of, all the five of them and uh, in whichever region you are using this uh, board it will connect automatically to that specific wi-fi address uh, mm, and uh, you can operate it if you have a mobile hotspot you can uh, do that too okay now i have completed setting up my network connections currently it is using dhcp mode like dynamic uh, ip address mode uh, country is set to india and uh, all the save network changes will be saved if you enter that last option uh, you can go and test your internet connection whether it has really receiving any bytes or not okay it will connect to the DitePy site if it is able to connect to that it will show success here are you able to see this success online okay all the settings related to network are now complete when it comes to display options if you have a display disabled uh, there will be less ram allocated or else uh, if you have a, a larger display so then uh, you need to allocate a different display based on your hardware availability here you can go and set the display settings uh, ram memory split uh, everything will be present here whenever uh, as our application requires uh, a lot of uh, video encoding and decoding we are going with 250 bytes uh, 
uh, if we are uh, having a more intense applications uh, beyond this then we are going to select 512 mb of uh, ram it will be completely allocated for this specific process as uh, the current board which i am using has only 2 gb of ram um, i am not going with the uh, maximum amount of ram that can be allocated so um, besides this if you have an lcd or uh, led panel uh, like a dual display setup or something then you need to go into this options and display brightness uh, you know that and uh, xorg dpa xorg is a window manager in uh, linux uh, where we can uh, run uh, gui applications in order to configure that uh, we will use this okay next uh, hdmi rotation if we are using a display with a different orientation then uh, we will have uh, to configure this hdmi rotation part and uh, over scan don't know about this when it comes to hdmi boost okay rpi codex v4 l2 hardware codex are used in this uh, specific uh, configuration if we are having an rpi camera like a serial camera serial cable kind of camera then we need to turn this on elsewhere uh, your camera will not uh, show any images being captured and uh, rpi camera led led should be powered on or powered off can also be configured from here then next comes to uh, just boom ir remote there are uh, people who will use this uh, same raspberry pi to convert an old uh, crt tvs to smart tvs in such cases uh, they will have an uh, specific hardware called uh, boom ir remote or boom ir uh, adapter by connecting that we can uh, configure or uh, manipulate settings on uh, this raspberry pi with the help of ir remote okay now almost all the settings have been completed related to display now audio options whether you should have a audio card or not or else uh, on board the audio capability should be enabled or not everything can be configured from here okay next coming to arm uh, temperature limit the cpu governor okay these are somewhat related to more core applications like if you want to configure a cpu to be overclocked don't do that now because uh, we are not using a, a cpu fan or a cooling uh, system suitable for overclocking uh, you might damage your raspberry pi so don't go with those options language and regional options these options are suitable for setting up a keyboard suitable keyboard for you and uh, time uh, zone uh, related uh, information can be configured from here okay i am using a uh, utf8 as a local and uh, indian maldives uh, is a time zone available there and when it comes to keyboard uh, it needs to be plugged into it but uh, we don't have any keyboard there so it uh, fall back to the main menu options okay i am using uh, ssh right so i haven't connected any keyboard to the raspberry pi when it comes to security options so you can change the user password and root password here uh, host name uh, to another host name like dev pi is a very common name so you can uh, change the host name to a unique name in the security options when it comes to network and adapters we have done that and network options miscellaneous uh while well, uh, coming to this part uh, in this uh, in which uh, from which mirror uh, the software needs to be downloaded from which mirror uh, time needs to be updated everything will be stored in this uh, specific menu okay auto start options when you are uh, turning on the raspberry pi for the first time or connecting to it it will it should ask the password or not or else uh, any other uh, kiosk uh, as i said in the past video you can design a kiosk over it where uh, it should run automatically uh, like uh, on the user base itself uh, it should run automatically and uh, come up with a menu all those settings can be configured from this uh, auto start option 
ओके इफ यू आर रनिंग ए मीडिया सर्वर देन यू माइट रिक्वायर दिस कोडी टू बी सेटअप टू यूजर मोड ओके देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ ऑप्शन हियर यू कैन एक्सप्लोर फॉर योर शेल योर सेल्फ एंड now coming to tools uh, you can benchmark uh, like what is the capacity of your cpu how much ram you can run everything can be done from here when it comes to stress test uh, you can uh, see how many flops of operations can be done on your cpu okay a reboot is required to apply new settings would you like to reboot now okay i'm okay with rebooting it once uh, we press the okay it will disconnect the ssh connection and uh, after a few minutes like a maximum of 60 to 80 seconds so you can see it rebooted and have you observed it uh, where uh, in the meanwhile uh, it reboots uh, i have a small observation to notice like uh, while connecting to it i am using uh, 29.20 as ip address once after connecting it it is showing some other ip address why it is so because whenever we are connecting with a wired connection it will get an one kind of ip address one ip address and whenever we are connecting it with a wireless modem like a built in wifi modem in it uh, it will connect to a different ip address both the ip addresses are active like uh, in the past you can see where uh, it has some 257 i think okay Oh, 20. Okay. Uh, two thirty-seven is the wired IP address, and twenty was the wireless IP address. Okay. That is how you can figure out uh, what is happening there and here. Ah, uh, that's all for this video. We, it has been already gone very long. Ah, uh, if you found any. creepy things or uh, if you are suffering with uh, while well, configuring it uh, then uh, put it in the comments and uh, i will uh, try to uh, reach you out uh, as early as possible or else you can uh, simply google uh, errors where you arise uh, while configuring it thanks for watching subscribe to my channel for more such videos and uh, whenever uh, you want to use a performance over beauty you can choose dietpy Rajshekar signing off